Hello everybody and this is a dash cam. We've been sent a dash cam and I don't know how to pronounce it. It's called a 70MAI or the 70 May. Either way it's available on, on Amazon. I've had a look and it only appears to be available on Amazon uh, America for $65.99. It's got a, a 1944p uh, HD video recording capability. It's got night vision, 140 degree wide angle lens, got a G sensor, loop recording, motion detection, and it's got uh, Wi Fi as well. So you don't have to bother keep putting cables into it, which is great. And it's got an app that lets you communicate to it. Uh, obviously, it's a dash cam. Uh, which I've already said. So I'm going to. Uh, I've already got a dash cam in the car, and my darling wife doesn't want me to put one in hers. So I'm going to install this and replace the one that's currently in the car. So uh, part two of this video will hopefully uh, not include me swearing a lot, and it will be a nice, easy install. And by the way, it comes with this base, which will let me um, mount it. It's a GPS mount holder. So I think this comes separate. So um, I'm going to give you all the links in the video and all that stuff. But go to CoolSmartphone.com for the full review. This is the video installation. So I've got an existing dash cam, as you can see, which is held on with a sucker. Um, I'm going to put this new dash cam in, and then I will remove this one and hopefully make it uh, a rear camera. This is a Yi camera, by the way. Yi. But I'm going to put it, put the new one in now. So uh, here goes. Okay, you can see here, I didn't really install this very well because it's peeling off already. That's not good. That's literally dropping off anyway. So it's a good job I'm putting a new camera in uh, because this one's um, not very well installed. I only blame myself for that. Okay, so in the great traditions of Cool Smartphone, I am not reading the instructions yet. But we have a peel off sticker with some function buttons here you can see. Uh, and it just tells you what each button does. So there's a four function buttons, and then you got this power button at the bottom, which you press and hold to reset. So I'm going to peel this off afterwards, um, but that's where your screen is. And here you can see um, the lens that will be doing the recording. That moves up and down, obviously depending on the tilt of your uh, windscreen. And you've got this here. And by the way, this is the GPS. So this is going to detect how fast I'm going so that's the one thing about dash cams you know you could say well um, that guy was being an idiot but it, unless you've got one of these things which is the GPS module it, you don't know how fast you were going you could say well I was only doing 20 miles an hour officer and this guy just pulled out in front of me but unless you've got this this is a GPS module it actually says you were doing 50 miles an hour you, you're in the wrong basically and the guy pulled out and it's your fault because you were going too fast so this is a gps module which fits onto that and then this sticks onto the windscreen and the whole shaboodle should be done now on the side we have got the micro sd card we have also got dc in which is micro usb and thank god for that because my micro usb cable is already installed and tucked away basically and i apologize for all the sun and the reflections here but the cable goes up and it goes behind my mirror and then it goes over the top of um, the sun visor here and then I've basically stuck it into the trim of the door. If you if you look here, I'm going to try and show you, it's very windy today, um, but you can see here this, this rubber trim, you peel it back and I realise this focus is a nightmare but um, you peel this rubber trim back and you can fit the cable in there and just thread it all the way down. Really easy to do and it doesn't break your car. Uh, apologies for all the focusing problems. I know it's a terrible way. Uh, it's just filming with all this light and dark is tricky. So it goes down there and then it ends up going across the seat and it goes into here and this terrible little cubby hole where I plug in to the cigarette lighter which now has a more modern term of the power outlet. But it's uh, cigarette lighter is probably what a lot of people know it as. And um, it comes with a cable in there, but I've already got one from the previous camera, so I'm just going to swap these around. It comes with a lovely little manual there, and a cable at the bottom, which is quite lengthy. There you go, there's a cable. And on the other side, hello, we have... What is that? There's plenty of things in here. Oh look, this I presume is a prizing tool to help um, move or remove the camera 
and here is the USB charging plug which goes into your cigarette lighter. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to uh, put it onto the windscreen now. By the way, little thing for you, if you don't have and you don't purchase a separate GPS module here, you'll just get a dummy um, base unit which fits on like that, slides on. These connectors here power the GPS module, but if you don't have the GPS module, it will act just as an everyday normal camera without the GPS information embedded on the video stream. However, if you buy this, you slot that onto there like that, click, click, the power comes from the mains, which is from your car, and then this now sucks onto my windscreen, and that should be it. So let's give that a try. Now what I like to do is tuck the camera behind the mirror so it's not that obvious. Um, I know there's obviously a, uh, a screen there that you can see, but I like to tuck it behind there. So I basically held it up with the mirror in place so that I can actually see stuff behind me. I've allowed a little bit of room for, um, you know, sort of moving my seat backwards and forwards. And that's now going to be where it's going to sit. So I'm just going to move this mirror to the side so I can actually see what I'm doing and put it on. Okay, so you can see I've moved the mirror out of the way and I've pushed this really as hard as I can onto the windscreen so it makes a nice firm connection. The lens here you may hopefully be able to see moves up and down. Don't try and put your finger on it because it'll smudge and then all your um, footage will smudge too. You can peel this off now and we can see the screen and luckily all the ports are on this side which means they don't get stuck up there. So I can now plug it in I'm going to transfer the micro SD card from my previous uh, dash cam into this one and then go through the setup. Okay, apologies once again, it's really hard for you to see in the daylight, but I've got a, a few buttons. Press and hold so it tells you what to do. It's a voice control. Um, you can set the system time, your parking surveillance. And what I'm going to do is ignore all these buttons and download that app. Hopefully that will be a lot easier than figuring out what these four buttons do. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so here's the download page. It's asking me to select a region. I'm not in any of those, but I'm going to say global. And download there. Ah, so it takes me to um, Google Play, which is good, so I don't have to sideload it. So I'm going to install that. And hopefully it will connect and everything will be cool. Let's just see. So I've got a bit of a sign up procedure unfortunately, so I'm just going to log in with my um, details and hopefully it will remember, hopefully the mighty Google will be able to fill in a lot of this. So we're just gonna say get security code and it's gonna send me an email. Let's just um, wait for that to happen. Right, so I've signed in and I'm now agreeing to a load of terms and I need to add a device. Now I've turned my Wi-Fi off as you can see and I want to add the 70MAI Smart Dash Cam Pro because that is indeed what it is as you can see by the side of the box. 70MAI Smart Dash Cam Pro. So I'm going to add that. It's interesting by the way, you see how they've got um, air purifiers and tire monitors. But anyway, so I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to connect to the, um, hopefully, the Wi-Fi that this dash cam is putting out. I've got my car now um, on, um, well it's on, <laughs> but it's not running, obviously it's not ticking over. And you can see I can't really see a Wi-Fi here that indicates it's the, um, the dash cam. I've got all sort of normal Wi-Fis in this area. So I've turned on the, um, tap the settings button to go to settings. So I've got to do something on the stuff itself on that on that. So I'm just going to go into there. Time reset. Please calibrate by connecting to your mobile phone. Okay, that's wonderful. Wi-Fi. So is this? I'm guessing right. Okay, it's a little bit confusing. It wants me to turn my Wi-Fi hotspot on, or is it the dat? No. Okay, so no, let's just do this. She's talking to me. It's not really that straightforward. She's formatting, at the minute, the, the uh, dash cam is formatting the card. Okay, so now I've got a screen and now it's recording. So right, he wants me to go into that, which I'm doing. And I'm gonna say, Wi-Fi hotspots, uh, enable. Right, it's done it. 
Okay, and now I'm going to connect to that Wi-Fi hotspot. Is it showing yet? Is it showing yet? It's called 70 MAI. So we're looking for anything that says 70 MAI. I can't see it. Let's turn it off and on again. Everything on the internet is fixed by turning it off and then back on again. Are you ready? Come on. I'm turning this off and on again now. Enabling. Searching. This is a bit like Bluetooth. You know how Bluetooth should be really simple and easy and yet you still have problems with it. Well, this is the same with Wi-Fi. There we go. 70 MAI. Hey, now what's the password? It's on the screen, so I'm going to put that in now. It's meh, nah, 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 nah. And then we'll only have to do this once. Meh, 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 meh. Okay. I've now done that. So I'm going to connect. So now I'm connected to the dash cam Wi-Fi, which won't get me very far, and the phone will moan in a minute and say, hey, you've got no internet access. Are you mad? So I'm going to say yes, I am mad, carry on connecting, because otherwise it will disconnect me. I'm going to go back to the app, and I'm going to say the Dashcam's Wi-Fi hotspot is enabled. Next. Do you want to allow this to the... Okay, so now connect and done it. It's done that. I've done it. I've already done it. Yes. It's done. Loading. Tap the confirm button to authorize. Okay, I'm going to tap confirm. Yes, okay, now I can see the house across the road and they're probably a bit surprised. Okay, but I can take a photo. I will take a photo. Photo taken. She's talking to you here, by the way. She's talking to me quite a bit. I'm hoping you can hear that. Okay, so now I can hopefully do the rest of the setup on here because the setup on the camera itself uh, can be a bit of an annoyance. So there we go. You can see hopefully a little bit better on here. So I'm going to go to, okay, so we've got power on sound is on. So this is when you first power on the camera, it's going to make a noise. Sound recording. So you can enable or disable sound recording. I'm going to say enable because if you're swearing and you're getting really angry, it's obvious that you're the one at fault again. Screen off time. So you, that is, this is why I cover the screen because a lot of the time it turns off anyway. The system time is wrong. So I'm going to, well, that's clever. Do you want to sync it? from your phone yes oh thank goodness for this i hate going around menus and stuff like that voice control on collision sensitivity you might have to tweak with that because sometimes when i've got loud music in the car it thinks i've had a crash when there's some large bass sound um speaker volume i'm going to turn that down because she is quite loud and she talks quite a bit doesn't she video settings right here's the resolution settings uh that's very high so let's have a look at that Oh, wow, we can... Okay, so we've got on the... Sorry, it's so close, but I'm trying to remove the reflection from the sunshine that you're seeing quite a bit here. So I'm going to leave it on that. Speak volume. Okay, set the Wi-Fi password. I'm going to leave that alone because it's just taken me this long to get into the Wi-Fi. Uh, pin number, leave that on. Parking surveillance, I'm going to leave that on. But again, this depends slightly on whether your car provides power to the dash cam when you are out of the car and the ignition is turned off. With mine here, if the ignition's powered off, I've got no power to my dash cam, so it's pointless. But anyway, ADAS, I believe. Um, let's turn that on. Okay. ADAS. Just two seconds. Right, sorry. Moved, I moved a bit so it's easier for you to see. So uh, we were up to the settings and we were up to ADAS. Now, the ADAS system is the advanced driver assistance system i believe now in previous web dash cams that i've reviewed this can get on your nerves slightly and it'll tell you when it thinks you're drifting out of lane or it thinks you're going too fast and it can drive you mad but i'm going to leave that on just to test this uh, for the review so the ads warning page so here, here you go you can see what it's checking for lane deviation uh when the car ahead moves it will tell you uh, so whether you want that on or off, you can adjust it all from this app, which is good. So parking surveillance, uh, on, off. And, okay. So we've got 20 minutes. That's all good. And that's about it. So we've formatted the memory card and 
that is all hopefully I need to do power on Wi-Fi setting so I'm gonna leave the Wi-Fi on because it, it, I mean it didn't take that it wasn't really that hard to get the Wi-Fi turned on but it's just a few extra buttons to press so that I believe is all the settings that we have you can format the card which I've already done I can go back and I can have a look at my photo album so this is where you will see um, all your recorded videos so here you can see any events so if you press a button on the uh, dash cam itself if you've experienced something on the road that you want to keep a recording of it will be in the event folder as a parking folder and there's no video in there at the moment and there's a photo album as well but I'm going to go into normal and you can see the footage it's taken so far is just that and you can see the video hopefully if we turn it up now there's no audio on there so I presume that was before I adjusted the audio setting Look at that. So it's very good quality and this is basically where you download it let me just see if I can press download Oh, it's just going to download the whole thing. So it's downloading the whole video there. It didn't let me edit it slightly. So you have to edit it after you've downloaded it. So perhaps I'll change that in a future episode of the uh, a future upgrade of the video. But that's it. I've installed the dash cam. Um, I'm not going to press any buttons, but um, that appears to be everything that I need it to do. So I'm going to give that a try. And I will show you some demonstration video on the full review on Call Smartphone. But that is basically the install of the 70MAI Smart Dash Cam with GPS. So um, I will test that out and see how it performs.